Jeff got stuck in the Ford, got stuck with the Chevron unstuck when the Dodge showed up. But the Dodge got stuck in the tractor rut, which eventually pulled out the Ford. So we've left Princeton. We're working our way towards Colmont. And we stopped to have a look at the Tillamine River as it comes down through the valley here. And if you look on the far, right now be your left side. We'll zoom all the way down. That's the old railway bed. Now the KBR railway bed. It's now a hiking biking trail. Very picturesque here. We're at the edge of Comont, the town. This is shot down the uh, old Kittlevale Railway. Very popular with quads, obviously, and bikers. Tell us how far you got to go to Comont to Tulamine. We're going to head up to Brookmere, that's how far we're going. Here's a sign where it tells you about the railway. The first three people there were kids. And then mum followed by another kid and dad with a pull in the trailer. There's the old bathroom, the old outhouse. And there's the Col Colmont to the main, sorry, Colmont and General Store. So this cache is called Hattie's Place. And Hattie's Place there was the old bordello in town. There's a sign there, we'll go have a look at it, but that's all that's left of it. So we're again at Hattie's Place. Here's a little sign that tells you about it. So we're going to look for the cache, find it, and get going. We're getting late in the afternoon. We need to pick up some time. So we're still in Colmont. This is the Colmont Meat Market. I think it's actually a meat market, not the same as what Hattie's place was. So, But this is downtown Colmont. And the Colmont Hotel has been here for many, many years. It actually, at one point, it was getting a bit endangered. And they actually saved it. The guy that owned it and bought it saved it and uh, rebuilt it. So. Good for him, it's quite a, a neat place to see. The second story veranda, that was kind of rare these days, but in those days it's pretty common to have. So we're now in the town of Granite City, the old ghost town. Looking for a cash here called Miner's Stash. And there's a bunch of old abandoned cabins around here. We'll go around and look at them. There's also a plaque from uh, when somebody first found gold in the little creek right behind us. But right now we're looking for the cache. This is a little area that got all cleared where the town was. There's another cabin there. Or the foundations or whatever's left of it. That's interesting what that post was for. Maybe somebody will tell us. They overhang over top of the door. Well, better go find the cache. So still in Granite City, and this little plaque tells all about the city that used to be here. How it was found by a cowboy named Johnny Chance, struck it rich, and they found some gold in the little creek behind us. And believe it or not, at this location, at one time there was two main streets, 200 buildings, 13 of which were saloons, and over 2,000 people. So that's a lot of people for 
a small area that you see here. Well, it's still in Granite City, just before we headed out of the little clearing here, we saw this one other log cabin that was in pretty good shape and was worth stopping to have a look at. This way to the cemetery. This is a relatively new grave, 2003, from Singing Jimmy, is buried here. But I like his quote. This is the highlight of the tour on our way up to Colmont and Tulamine. This is the secret stash, and this is the secret lair of the Tulamine Turtles. Not many people are privileged to be here and we're totally not sure if anybody's returned from here. But we're here. We braved it. We found the cache. Nobody home. Here we are another cache in Tulamine. This one is called the Shoe Tree. And the original Shoe Tree isn't here anymore. However, there's still a cache here, which is good. And this is the old railway bed of the Kettle Valley Railway, which is now a combination hiking, uh, quad, motorcycle, and bicycle path. A lot of people do this trail during the summer. So we're now in Tulamine at the Tulamine Graveyard, God's Little Lake here, doing a cache here by Zobster, the famous guy from the Lower Mainland. Stu's looking for it. And of course, still just realized he doesn't have his camera. He dropped it to the last cache, I think. So after we find these two quick ones, we're going to head back and find his camera. Okay, I'm just about dying. Because Scruff Stitch goes up the hard way from the school down there. And I don't do hills well. But Scruff just smelled this cache. And he was after it. And if you look at this road, it's a very lovely road. A Jeep could get up here no problem. <sighs> okay, I'm dying. Next cache, please. So we're still in Tulamine. Next cache we're gonna get is the KBR Trestle over there, somewhere there's a cache. And we're running out of daylight, but we're still keeping at it. And this is Otter Lake. There's the ducky having fun. Okay, here we are at the trestle. And somewhere around here is the cache. That scruffster by a friend soon. I'm getting tired. Well, success. Scruffster found the cache. He smelt the peanut butter jar out like crazy, so good thing he's along with us. <laughs> 